Hey everybody, it's Matt Shu from Upright Health and today I wanted to talk with you about um, an analogy that uh, I was talking with one of my clients about earlier this week. So we were talking about this need to exercise um, to make the body feel good. Um, and this client actually expressed a frustration that I myself have had at one point. Um, and that frustration is basically, you know, why do I have to keep exercising? Why can't my body just feel good? It just seems ridiculous that, you know, I have to do these exercises, I have to stretch, I have to keep doing these things to keep my body feeling good. And I said, you know what, that's fair. I get frustrated with that too. But the same way you need to eat in order for your stomach to feel good and for the rest of your body to feel good, um, is the same way your body needs exercise to feel good. So we get hungry every single day, even though we eat, if we're lucky, every single day. Um, I eat at least three meals a day, and I have to keep doing it over and over and over again, even though I've been doing it for decades at this point. Um, when we think about food, we don't get frustrated with this notion that we have to keep eating. So it doesn't make sense for us to think about exercise in any different way. The exercise is a way of feeding your body um, with movement, right? Your muscles need movement in order to feel healthy. If, for example, you didn't eat or you were eating just crap for three months, assuming you survived, your stomach would probably not feel very good. Your body just would not feel good. If you then started correcting your habits, if you started to eat regularly and eat nutritious food, you couldn't just do that for three weeks or another three months and then say, okay, my stomach feels fine. It's been three months of eating well. My stomach feels good. I'm going to go back to not eating anymore. It's not a reasonable expectation um, to say I only have to eat until my stomach feels good and then I don't have to eat again for the rest of my life. Exercise needs to be looked at the exact same way. Your muscles need movement in order to maintain their mass. They need to be working against resistance in order to maintain their mass and their strength. Um, when you're, when you are dealing with something that hurts, it's almost exactly the same as, uh, stomach pain, right? Your stomach hurts when it's not getting enough of what it needs. When there's nothing going on that, that gives it, you know, that satisfied feeling. For muscles, oftentimes it's very much the same. And, um, it's very clear that from our modern, uh, lifestyles, we don't get enough movement for a lot of different muscles. That's why you hear about glutes falling asleep. That's why you hear about people's legs being so weak. That's why people lose their balance after they've spent 10 years sitting at a desk. Um, your glutes get killed. The deep, deep hip rotators get killed. Your hamstrings get really used to staying in one position. All these things start happening and these bad movement patterns accumulate until you start to feel like everything is wrong. At that stage, you can't just say, well, I'm going to exercise just enough until the pain is gone and expect the pain to stay away forever. You have to actually continue to exercise, continue to feed your body with the right stimulus so that it continues to feel good. Um, my client heard this and was like, okay, that makes a lot of sense. And I wanted to share this idea with you because it really is the only way to look at exercise. Um, in a healthy, holistic way that makes sense in the long run. It explains why your body hurts when you don't exercise, and it explains why it starts to feel better and better the more exercise you do in a healthy and wholesome way. So next time you start getting down on yourself and start thinking like, oh God, it's this exercise stuff, it must, my body just must be falling apart. Uh, if exercise, if, you know, two months of exercise hasn't fixed it, it's just never going to get better. Step back, remember that your body needs to be fed well, not just on a short-term basis, but also for the long-term. So 
So I hope that perspective helps you out. You know, when you're when you're feeling that frustration, I definitely understand. Um, but that's the way the body works. So if that's the way that works, deal with it. <laughs> Just keep exercising. So keep that in the back of your head. Keep on moving, and remember, pain sucks. Life shouldn't. If you like this video, we've got plenty more coming. Don't forget to subscribe.